So becoming a partnership of Sanctuary is all about providing safe, accessible and welcoming healthcare to our vulnerable migrant population and that can be refugees, it can be asylum seekers or even undocumented migrants and it's about removing some of those barriers, smashing some of those stigmas and hopefully addressing some of the, the myths and the misconceptions that exist around that vulnerable migrant community and ensuring that they get access to the healthcare services that they need when they need it. To be honest, my understanding in English also not really good that time, but I learned through, through the days that uh, there's a lot of difference between the formal English and the conversation English, and specifically when you're in Yorkshire. Some of them get here and they've obviously had to undertake really, really difficult journeys. You know, they may have, have to escape uh, persecution, even torture. I was looking for opportunities. So I came here, we had a training. Now I became a peer advocate. There was a ships uh, organizing, helping the homeless people, asylum seekers, and refugees. We are just uh, amplifying their voice, helping them. Because most of the people, they have a language barrier. They don't know how to explain their problems. I had the same difficulty. I mean, filling the forms, it is not easy. It's not easy for me. Because I'm struggling still with my mental health situation, so I was uh, being put in the shared accommodation with another asylum woman from different, different countries. English people, they're not really open to, to asylum and you know I'm wearing hijab and, and I'm totally look different so, so when I go to my groceries there is also homeless people you know on the street they're not really friendly they even shout to me what you doing here and all this thing I was really scared there is a moment that pushed me out you know when I was in the queue I just feel like uh, I better not to go outside. So that's how I got I got things that I better stay in my house because I'm, I, I didn't feel welcome. So as many as 20% of people get turned away from GP services. Actually, erroneously, they shouldn't be getting turned away. Um, so one of the things that we'll be doing is working with GP service, uh, surgeries to deliver safer surgery training. Um, but there's also challenges around the language. Of course, many of these people you know, don't speak English. The last thing we want is for people to to feel fearful of, of actually accessing care. UK have a very organised system. Most of them are successful by history, but if we don't know how to use it or to reach it, it will just like a, a story. So that's why I think that everybody need to help themselves first. Some of the things that we're doing at the moment is, like I say, we're actually um, delivering safer surgery training to our GP surgeries within the uh, district. So people um, who work in GP surgeries know um, that if somebody comes and they can't necessarily provide a permanent address, they can still be registered at that GP surgery and people shouldn't be turned away. And we're currently, we're looking at everything that we deliver in terms of healthcare and looking at how we make that more accessible, safe and welcoming. The City of Sanctuary are, are supporting us in terms of our aspiration to become a, a, an organisation of Sanctuary and we'll be the first integrated care system in the UK to actually achieve that when we hopefully um, receive that, that award. A City of Sanctuary um, is a city that everybody and all of the agencies are aware of asylum issues, of the asylum process, and are welcoming to strangers that are coming in. In this country, there's forms to fill in. You fill the forms, everybody's on an equal basis. And this is one of the biggest challenges that people have, not understanding the, the social intricacies and the social niceties that, that we take, for example, and we just, we just live but that's the biggest thing that they have to overcome. They have to see how things work. When you see people arriving, they arrive often without luggage. You know, if you see people getting off boats, getting out at the backs of lorries and such like, they don't have suitcases with them. So they arrive with what they stand up in. So part of our response has been to offer emergency clothing, to offer um, the dignity of having new underwear. One of the things that isn't always recognised because they're so pleased to be somewhere safe is that behind every smile there's a broken heart. I just not only a lost mother, I lost 
being a human as well. Differences, uh, culture differences, different religions, it is nothing. We are human. <laughs> so here I saw that, that's especially Bradford, it's a really good place to see that. There are lots of different cultures here, lots of different kinds of people, but respect. I saw that here. This art house here in Wakefield is absolutely phenomenal. It's actually the first studio of Sanctuary in the country and they're doing some amazing work with vulnerable migrants. If you're an artist, if you're a filmmaker, if you're um, an architect, you haven't even got a pencil. So you can't, you can't draw, you can't create. And anybody who is creative is stifled. The, the aim is to get everybody to be welcome, uh, inclusive, and you know, build good community links and enable people to be good neighbours um, to everybody. Uh, I had a really good relation with the uh, City of Sanctuary there, we could City of Sanctuary, even today, uh, this morning for example, I'm joining their uh, online sessions and I'm a volunteer, I'm teaching English for the refugees, uh, asylum seekers. And I invited my other friends, though. We are helping the State of Sanctuary, and they help us uh, a lot, especially that mental health part, because you are alone, you don't know anyone. And they are just sharing your problems helps a lot, because you don't know anyone. You are, I'm alone, I came here without my family. So for being positive, you need to have friends, just connections, lots of connections around you. So one of the best places, that kind of well-being centers, charity organizations, most of them are professional, I saw that. They know how to talk, they know how to help, and they know how they are fragile. They really, really like a professional. Uh, they are asking, talking, really patient. The real sanctuary now is within me. Everywhere I go, I am a home and I have a home for my son. I can't deny being broke down, I fall, but they always lift me up. For three years, all of them kept telling one, we believe in you, we believe in you. And now only I start to change the word, I believe in myself. It took three years to do it. It's not going to happen one day, but you need to keep doing it to be the best version of you. Find friends communication. Otherwise, uh, your mental health, your health, body, you will have, they will have lots of problems. So it really is a massive collaborative project and we're really, really clear this was never for us about just getting a badge to put on our website or to say that we're an organisation of sanctuary. This is about real meaningful change that is very, very transformative and we'll be really, really proud to say that we're an organisation of sanctuary. This isn't about doing it to that community, it's about doing it with them. It is a grassroots movement, it is everybody coming together, being neighbours, and, and it's just everybody spreading, everybody spreading the welcome, and that's what we do.